Welcome to my first collab on YouTube. If you'd like to learn how to make and and or gates using diodes, check out Shakur Salam's channel. He's a YouTuber from Malaysia that makes informative videos on electronics. Once upon a time, in a land of digital circuits, there lived three gates. Not, Nor, and Nand. Not was a proud gate, always boasting about its simplicity and straightforwardness. Nor was a calm and collected gate, and preferred to keep things balanced and stable. Nand was the youngest of the three, was always enthusiastic about new challenges and inventions. One day, while the three gates were chatting, a problem arose. They needed to process a complex signal, but none of them could handle it alone. Not claimed that it was the simplest and most efficient way to solve a problem, but Nor argued that its stability was more important in this case. Nan suggested they all go back to basics and learn the fundamentals of their gates by implementing their circuits via transistors and studying their outputs. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll learn how to build not NAND and NOR gates using transistors. You'll need a breadboard, LEDs, NPN transistors, push buttons, jumper wires, resistors, and a power supply. I use the 5 volt and ground pins on an Arduino Uno as my power supply and type 2N3904 NPN transistors, but any NPN type should work. Double check the datasheet of the transistor you're using. It will tell you the order of your pins. In the case of an NPN transistor, which pin is your base, emitter, or collector? Since we'll be using LEDs, don't forget their polarities. Let's start with NOT. NOT is also known as an inverter. The output is just the opposite or inverse of its input, which we can see in its truth table. In the NOT gate, we only need one transistor. The 220 ohm resistor can be changed depending on the forward voltage of your LED or the brightness you'd like from the component. You can decrease the brightness by increasing the resistance. The output voltage of the logic gate powers the LED and can be probed at the collector pin of the transistor. When the push button is open, there is no power supply to the base of the transistor. Current from the base emitter junction flows through the resistor at the collector and powers the LED. Low input turns into high output. When we push the button, we supply 5 volts to the base of the transistor. Since current always chooses the path of least resistance, current flows through the transistor and not to the LED, so it stays off. High input turns into low output. A NOR combines an OR and a NOT gate, so we can say it performs an OR NOT operation. It can have two or more inputs with one output. NOR is known as a universal gate, since it can perform all the three basic functions of AND, OR, and NOT. This circuit uses two transistors with their collectors connected to each other and both emitters grounded. Essentially, the transistors are in parallel with the output above them, so that if either or both the inputs are high, the output is driven low. We can see this in the NOR truth table, where the only time we see the LED turned on is when both buttons are left unpressed. A NAND gate combines an AND and NOT gate, so we can say it performs an AND NOT operation. It can have two or more inputs with only one output. Like NOR, NAND is also known as a universal gate. In this circuit, we also use two NPN transistors. This time, they're connected in series with the emitter of one being fed into the collector of the other. When a button is not pressed, the corresponding transistor is off. If one or both transistors are off, the current can't flow through to ground, so it instead chooses the path of least resistance and flows to the output, turning the LED on. If we press both of the buttons, both inputs will be high, and a short to ground is created. 
This causes the current to bypass the output altogether and the LED won't turn on. You can also build and simulate these circuits online using Tinkercad, a free browser-based 3D modeling program by Autodesk. I've included links to not NAND and NOR Tinkercad circuits below. Feel free to check them out on your own. You can also use these files to help you build the logic aids on your breadboards. When running the simulation in Tinkercad, we can see how the NOT gate inverts the input. For NAND and NOR, or any gates with more than one input, you may not be able to push more than one button down when you're simulating in Tinkercad. Instead, hardwire each set of inputs by connecting your transistor pins directly to the positive or negative rails of the breadboard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Shocker's video and channel. I will be covering up N and OR gate. How we build the circuit, the logic circuit with the diode. See here, which is the A and B point. We got A and B, which is same like this. But instead of that, we got two diodes here, one resistor and one LED. LED just for the indication.